What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Stay tuned for these videos for Zach's car because his car is badass, I'm looking at it right now. He's done so much to it, I definitely wanna do a walk around video for it. But today's video will be an unboxing video uh, for his new body kit. This guy is going wide body and I definitely wanna document this because we are this close and pulling the trigger on doing this for this car. So let's go meet Zach up right now and do this unboxing real quick. <laughs> All right, guys, check this out. This guy's done so much to this car. I want to show you guys real quick. This son of a bitch already bagged his car. That's something that I really want to do with my car out here. I don't even know if he knows I'm here yet, but this guy turned his shit on or he left it on, but He's got the carbon fiber Burns Auto lip. He's got his um, Canards carbon fiber hood. We're gonna do a more in-depth walk around uh, of this car in the in the next couple videos. But today, like I said, we're gonna focus on this unboxing for the wide body kit. Uh, we want to show you guys exactly who he went with and um, check out the body kit, see what kind of quality it is. Where's he at? Look at him. Look at this son of a bitch. Look at this son of a bitch. Did you turn your car on just so I can see it like that when I kill him? Yeah. Oh, uh, you motherfucker. <laughs> I was like, did he like forget to turn it off? It looks so sick, bro. Thanks, man. I was just talking about it. Like, it looks so sick bagged. I, I love the way it's slams. Can you lift it for me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That looks so sick. And you got the underglow. God damn. That is so fucking sick. And it's so like quiet when you air it out, bro. Yeah, it's not oh, word. God damn, custom tank, yo. That is so sick. That's yeah. his Instagram name if y'all want to follow him. Subi underscore royalty. Sick. And I need to take out these lights, the top ones, because I had Homeboy install a LED bar behind it and you can barely see it. Oh yeah, I can one. see it down there. Yeah. Okay, so you want to like, that looks sick actually, dude. Yeah, so like the, the dome lights or whatever that are in it, these, like uh -huh. mask it, so I need gotcha. to take them out. That is so cool, bro. You got that lifted, uh, the airlift, um, that's a management out there? Yeah. And then you got the compressor tank. That is crazy, bro. Oh, I can't believe you already did it. Velvet MDF board. Oh, shit. Fuck it, I wanna see this kit. Let's go check Let's it out. Go. This fool is so excited to go check out this kit. This is a cool little uh, apartment building. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty nice. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try and get a house next year, though. Might have one more year. Oh, that's right, gotcha. Yeah. Like, buy a house? Might as well. Here it is, guys. Angry Acorns. That's who. Zach went with. It's a fragile package, so let's hope everything's intact and nothing broke. I don't know what's his idea with this, but um, I'm guessing he's gonna unbox it with this, let's hope. Here's his old seats. He took out the heated uh, system so he can put it on the Brahms. And uh, here's the other seat. And if you guys can tell what he went with, we're also, might as well, let's just show these off. We're gonna show you guys what wheels he went with. Obviously, he went with Cosmos, super wide wheel. All right, Zach. So um, be careful, don't cut your hand now. Let's check this out. All right, well, first things first, they definitely sent a sticker. Nice. This, this sticker is pretty cool. Yeah. You should uh, cut that out. <laughs> right. Oh, wow. This, uh, this, is, this is the rear. No, this is the front. The this is, yeah, this is the front for sure. Wow. Yeah, so this is fiberglass. 
this looks really good. Super lightweight. Look yeah. at that. So there's one piece. So yeah, it's super light. Definitely needs a wrap. Oh yeah. I mean. Wait, wait, wait oh, oh yeah, definitely this one. These need to be cleaned but, off. They all look, they look good. Yeah, I'm gonna place this one right here. I'm super surprised how all this fit in there. Yeah, and I'm glad that nothing looks damaged. No, this looks really good actually. The packing's actually pretty good. It's just. Let's see, let's throw that one there. Too. We'll probably spread it out on the floor in a bit. But part of the rear as well. I think that's the part that goes on the door. The this is the door. It's a gas tank sign. Gas tank. Damn. Fenders, fenders. Rear, rear. Yeah, no, that's, that's it? That's it? Yeah. Oh shit, oh yeah, you're right. That is it. What I think about this for the rear, so it like tapers off like this into the, like that rear under panel uh -huh. or whatever. So like, th there's still like this much car. Oh, that's true, it's true. So what's dope is it sticks out like this and it's gonna be flush with the wheel here, but then um, <laughs> the, the tire will just look meaty as fuck. Man. Hell yeah, that's gonna look crazy. This, this should be fun, dude. Oh man. So tell us, what are your plans for this? Why did you buy this body kit? And wait, you're not even gonna, this is really not what you're gonna install in your car. What the hell's happening? Um, I have a homie, he is the guy that has uh, done my powder coating. And he's been messing around with some carbon fiber parts, uh, making his own for his Datsun project. Um, so with that in mind, he's not doing uh, carbon fiber parts, it's like not his thing, but uh, he told me he'd be willing to do this. He thinks it's really cool that carbon fiber is actually close to me. For those of you that don't know, I have a carbon fiber leg. So that's why I'm kind of a carbon fiber That is sick, leg. show us. <laughs> this is crazy guys, you guys are gonna trip out. And then you also gotta show him the cane, bro. That is sick. So, there's a reason why this guy's addicted to carbon fiber and his car shows it. He has carbon fiber everything. You guys are gonna see the full video of a walk around. The interior is full of carbon fiber. He's actually sponsored by one pretty big company, Burns Auto, carbon fiber stuff. But check this out. So we got the carbon fiber leg and then have the real carbon fiber cane. Real carbon fiber cane. This thing is super light. Let me see if I can pick up, there it is. It's super light, but it's so sick. Check them out. That's crazy, dude. Anyway, so the plans are that he bought this kit, full kit, brand new, and he's gonna take it to his guy to make it and mold it in carbon fiber. So what the hell is gonna happen to this fucking kit? Irv, Irv's taking it. We are getting this kit, guys. So I'm freaking stoked because he's going white body. I'm going white body. This fucking thing is gonna go crazy and we're excited. Um, so this is basically my kit too. Yeah, this is our kit. This is our kit because he's gonna get this molded in carbon fiber. And that's why I wanna document this because I'm excited to see how it comes out in carbon fiber and, um, and when it, what it's gonna look like on his car. It's gonna be stupid sick. Um, I kind of want to go outside and kind of like test tape it tape that it just at least one fender. I want to like tape this up and then just look at the front end how sick it's gonna okay. look. Should we do that? Let's do it. Before we go outside and test fit this kit real quick, he's gonna show us the wheels. Uh, he went Cosmos Racing, but let's check out what uh, style wheel he went with to see this. So six spoke and has the machine edges. I really liked it. Oh, Whenever goodness. the description said machine, I thought the face was gonna be like brushed, not black like that. These so are so sexy, bro. I'm so happy with it. 11 inch wide, uh, plus 38, or plus eight offset, and I'm still having to run 25 mil spacers. So you still got any spacers for this, guys. Those of you that don't know about spacers and how safe they are, a lot of people are kind of like, 
uh, are spacers safe? Are they not? Is it a good idea? What's going on with spacers? I have a video of a pretty, well, it's an older video of me installing spacers on my car. Their parent performance, super safe. I had them on for a whole year and they were freaking phenomenal. They, they flushed out my fenders on my car. There were 20 millimeter spacers but I think you're gonna need what, 20, 25? I have 25s. 25s to fit this kit. And we're gonna uh, guide you guys through that process for fitment questions. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be part one of like maybe a few different yeah. videos because we wanna show uh, the uh, how the kit comes out when it's carbon fibered and then the installation. Uh, you got a guy that's gonna saw uh, off your fenders. So they're gonna go cut into this fender and then um, we're gonna show you guys all that. But let's go downstairs and check those check out. Those are those sick wheels. wheels. Look at this. It's so wide. Dude, look at the size of your head in between. It's like <laughs> nuts. That's huge. It's absurd. Yes. That's super exciting. Good for you, man. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, let's go downstairs real quick. It's gonna be insane, bro. Like, I'm already trying to just. Whoo! That's gonna be fire. So, check this out. So, the reason why it's not flushed here is because there's an actual inlet in there that has to go in between the bumper, but we can't put that in because we need to uh, detach the bumper. And we're not about to do that right now. But this will flush out right there. And then, this is how it looks from here. That will flush out as soon as we, uh, we ribbit it. So this is a pretty horrible kind of like a <laughs> first try on putting the kit on just to check out fitment. But um, we just literally just wanted to see how crazy it looks. But um, obviously that aligns well right there with this curve. Check it out guys. As soon as we, we go ahead and install that, that's all gonna align good. And then that front, just check that out guys. Oof, fire, that looks so good. Monster, she got hips now, look at that. Oh, this is a perfect view right here, bro. Oh yeah. All right guys, there you have it. Thank you for watching this unboxing video and unveiling of the white body. Zach is uh, ready to pull some triggers on getting it installed. So uh, next video, we should be having some cool updates. So stay tuned for this uh, part two coming through uh, of this dope ass car. And Zach, anything you want to say, man? Peace out. Follow me on Insta. Subi Royalty. All right. All right, brother. Catch you later. Uh, <laughs> Lates.